Epe is a very similar process under the wire from the inside guard socket. It's always nice doing a foil and an epe one after the other because you can't get the parts mixed up. Apart from there's a lot of people now using epe handles for foil. Epe is this one's fairly easy, the wires come out already, but you can normally just pull them, you don't need to apply any heat. This time it's a six mil spanner. That's not wanting to come off. Gentle application of a little heat. It's melted the glue that's formed around the, the barrel. Where did you get that um, black watch? It's quite nifty. It's a cigarette Ooh. lighter with oh, the gubbins yeah. missing. In a casing. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Depending on how much heat you've put in, that gets rather hot. <laughs> Experience. If you, if, if you use too much heat, you end up melting the plastic in the bottom. So be careful. Is that just in a replacement barrel? This is new, this is the barrel off. Yeah, but one, if you melt it, the plastic, oh yes, would you unless just... unless you can get the plastic out. Uh, I have a jar of acetone, and again, I take the old. Plastic cap out. Just to make sure there's nothing left. You can reuse these if you want, but I tend to put new ones on. Uh, again, same as the, the foil, I, I tend to use a knife first and just run down. The, the blade of the FA. It's a lot easier clearing glue out of an FA blade than uh, a foil blade, as you can see. And again, I'm just going to run the Dremel down it just to make sure all the last bits of glue are out. So that's ready now. This is a it's a Leon Paul folded blade, but it's the barrel and the tip that dictates it's a Leon Paul wire. If it was an all-star barrel, I'd put an all-star wire on it, although it is a Leon Paul blade, because it's the wire and the barrel that go together. Any blade doesn't matter. And are again, they, are they still the same thread on the yes, blade? Yes, for, for an epe it's 4 by 0.7, for a foil it's 3 by 0.6. Okay. Again, it's ease out the wire, straighten it. Leon Paul, it's a loop, so I tend to make my life slightly easier. Break the loop off. With the Leon Paul wire, what I've done 
is I've carefully squoze, squoze, squeezed together the two wires so the two they come in the centre now and I've put some nail varnish on to add some additional insulation. This is where it gets interesting because the two wires end up wrapped around each other. And if you carry on pulling it tight you can end up with a kink in it. Again, through the barrel, making sure it's the goes through the right way. And again, I only make sure I've got about an inch or so, so I don't drop the point. Thread lock. What what's the difference between that and the glue you use on the blade? Thread lock can be undone if you get the right thread lock. Uh, you can and it is conductive. Super glue is non-conductive. So if you actually super glue the barrel in, it won't work because you don't have a, a circuit. And trying to undo a, a super glued barrel from a blade is fun. You don't want to, with the Leon Paul barrel wire combo, you don't want to over tighten the barrel because you end up closing in the gap at the top and you're now working with two wires instead of one. All right. I'm making sure that the two wires are one behind the other in the groove. So the groove's that way, so I'm trying to make sure the two wires are that way. Both wires, a little bit of tension on, pushing down and pulling at the same time. And again, I'm checking that the tip actually fits in. There's nothing worse than, as I said earlier. Now, if you can pass me my multimeter, please. Yeah, that, that red and black one you've got in your hand. <coughs> Thank you. Bye. I don't tend to check myself on foil rewires. I do check myself on EPO rewires. Is that just because of the two wires? It's because of the two wires and there's a tendency to... Uh, short out if you're not careful enough in the, the top of the barrel. So, file, clear off the wires. One is on the two wires, one's on the blade. I've got no reading, so there's, there's no short circuit there. Again, I've put the tip in just to make sure and Final check to see whether I have a circuit between the two wires. Yeah, I've got a circuit between the two wires and I've depressed the tip. Do Leon Paul put enamel on their wires? Yes and no. I always file them off anyway. Okay. Because it makes it clean, it's it's a nicer, it's a cleaner connection. You burn, I mean, I, I tend, because my light is in my box, I haven't burnt it. Okay. I tend to burn it, then scrape it off. Okay, cool. Two wires together. <laughs> they were crossed over there, not good. Again, some tension, but not too much, otherwise you'll pull them out of the plastic cap 
and again wrapping it round and over the wire to lock it off. I'm now checking visually to see whether I've actually crossed the wires over and I have done. Epo rewire jig because as you can see that wire isn't sitting down in the bottom of the groove. When you try these, as I say, you want the two wires parallel down the centre of the If they're crossed over, you run a risk that if you get a big beat, especially at the end here. You can get the wires cut. What are you doing there? I've got the wires crossed over. All right. So I'm just straightening the wires up. It looks it looks neat and tidy. You don't want it all higgledy piggledy. Although, if it's higgledy piggledy and it works, it just doesn't look very nice. Yeah. No glue? Not yet, no. Oh. Put the chain on it first. This is a similar version chain, but this time I've used a dog lead instead of a carabiner. Another check just to make sure nothing's untoward's happened. And again, I use my hands, other people put it in vice. About an inch below, you see that run up. Another drop. And follow the glue down the blade. Upside down again. And that is, that should be this one, should be ready. And if you pass me the Epo one, hopefully this will be dry. Simple check, run your finger down it. If it's sticky or your finger sticks, the glue still wet. I like living dangerously. Take the rewire jig off. This is where I'm going to slightly differ from the foil. I'm actually going to check it before I rebuild it, just in case something's gone. Pete Tong. Again, I'm running thumbing a round object down the wires just to get rid of the, the kinks easing off the wire that's stuck Crocodile clip on the wires, one clip to the blade. I have no circuit, so I don't have a short. Good.
Oh, there's a test box. On the way. Cheers. And if you've, if you've, if you're wrapping them around the crocodile clips, if they have got a bit just uh, messed up, just cut them off to make life easy getting the, the sleeving on. If you're unsure which way around it goes, this one is fairly simple. You've only got one cut out for the wire. If it's been a, a, an old one, you actually get the impression of the blade on the guard. It gives you a clue which way around it goes. Making sure the wires are straight, you're not going to trap any wire down here. Inside guard socket goes to the close side unless the fencer has it in a different way. That's, that's a normal position. They can be anywhere around the inside guard, but that is normal, standard. That's the right handed, yeah? This is right handed, yes. Which is why I have a clean end. I should have. What have I done with it? So much hard to work on. <laughs> Where's the pin? No, that's not it. Everything you can do with the two pins is that one for hands. Again, I've put the wires towards me the same way as before, so when I put the handle on, I know I'm not going to trap the wires. Again, hold the handle when you're tying it up. It's fine, you hold the handle, Well, at least it's before. Do I just know how bad my oil was out? I didn't try and be honest. Sorry, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. well, how many times we cut? Because uh, it twisted the handle and then um, it breaks the wire. Well, you can't do that. How am I supposed to do that? Every time I take it to like an armour, they're like, it's fine. Because of that, that bit. If you twist, then you break the pole of the wire. Well, make sure the insulation is removed. Took the wires out of the way, wires around the back of the inside guard socket. You don't want to wrap too much around because it ends up into the screw threads. On which bits does it screw on? The two close ones. The two close ones, centre and close. So the two wires have come out through the back, insulation up to the screws. I've left those two temporarily in case there is a problem. You just gotta make sure that they're not touching the guard, otherwise you're gonna get some weird and wonderful lights. I tend to put the mainspring in as well first. You press the tip, I have a green light, it's functioning. Check the gauge, turn it round, press down again, doing the four cardinal points, that's fine. <laughs> yes, I am speaking from experience. No. Press down. So done perfectly happily. Come on. Thank you. Why well, yeah, no, no phase in your way? Tight but not over tight because you end up going through the insulation. Just because I know they're mine. 
It makes life a lot easier having the magnet on your screwdriver as well. And final check is the weight check. The set. It's eight quid. It's eight quid. That, Press lot, down, let go, about five. that's fine. That's the Nepo rewire done. Last thing to do now is to trim the wires off. One Nepo rewire. No, I've learned. Any questions? <laughs> the other screen, I, I know I've made that magnetic. look rather easy. Mm. <laughs> um, I've never. Have you finished the effort? Yes. Can I take it, please? Yes. <coughs> You've done the real work. Yeah, Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, take it Ticket in eight quid. Oh, yeah, you. I'll yeah, I need paying for it as well. <laughs> questions? Nope. Happy. Mm. Yes, until we'll try and do it ourselves. <laughs> Got plenty of in the club, don't yes. don't do it with only one wire. Have at least two handy, just right. in case. You won't need the second one, but if you don't have one, you'll you need it. Yes. <laughs> so the uh, Leon Paul every wire tools is literally just to push the tip of the. It's, it's literally just to push that is the. Called an FA rewire jig is right. literally just to put that wire into that point there. Okay. Otherwise, it sticks up about at that point. Yep. So it's to get that wire down into the base. And the other one is just to push the end of the uh, wire into the barrel. Point set tool is just a point goes in to yep. press down, but pull at the same time as you're pressing down. Yep. Otherwise, you'll end up with a bunch of wire in the bottom against the end of the blade, yep. which isn't good. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah.